All right, guys, so now that we've actually built um, the Maslow uh, frame over here, the temporary frame for the Maslow, we are now going to build the sled that attaches to your route. Um, I'm gonna be using this rigid, this rigid router that was recommended by um, the Maslow team. Um, and then I also have with that the Z-axis travel for the specific router. The first step, you just gotta print out the sled. There's a PDF of it on their website. All you're gonna do is take this and we're gonna go back to this piece of um, plywood here that we had cut out before for those motor mounts. And all we're gonna do here is take your uh, template and you can either glue it on, you can tape it on, you can trace this onto it. I'm just gonna take some adhesive spray. And it doesn't really need that much because this is just for measuring, um, cutting out of the actual wood here. And I'm just gonna keep it up against the edge of this plywood so that I am not wasting too much of it and can use it later. Um, so there's a 3 8 bit that comes in this kit I have here. So that's what I'm going to be using for the holes. Um, okay, so that's nice and tight now. Um, I'm going to adjust the height of this guy. We're just going to unlock this locking pin here. Go like this, unlock it, and then rotate the knob here so that it lowers it the depth that we want. Um, we need a quarter inch. So the blue holes are the ones you go all the way through and the red ones, we're only gonna go to a quarter inch depth on the actual uh, piece. So we're gonna change this before we start going with that. Check it out. Um, so now we're actually gonna take the router and we're gonna set the depth of the bit to a quarter of an inch here. Um, that's just so that we are just gonna kind of indent inside of the wood a little bit, not try and drill throughout the whole thing. That's gonna be for the screw placement. Check it out. So the good news is that since this is just gonna be a temporary attachment for the router, I'm not even gonna have to sand this thing down. But just to give you an idea of what it looks like at the end, um, you've got these holes that are kind of indented and then the holes go straight through. Now, you're gonna be able to tell, like, it's very rough cuts with this, right? Because you're using your hand. I, you could have used a guide, I guess I could have used a guide to make it a little bit easier. Um, but if you want to, my suggestion is to just use a drill bit for those holes, go straight down with those holes with the drill. Um, and then uh, even just take a jigsaw for the bigger hole because you can kind of use that edge connector to round it around real nice and you won't have to keep going through depths once you make that first hole. That's what I would suggest for you guys to do. The next thing, I'm just gonna cut this piece out of the wood and then I'm gonna attach the bracket and we'll attach that to the router. Check it out. All right guys, so now we have the uh, sled that, the temporary sled that's all cut out. So the brackets are gonna go on the end of your uh, sled that are flat, that don't have the edged out holes here. You want this bolt with these edges to be able to go all the way through and lay flat against the wood. Alright guys, so now we've got the uh, temporary sled. All we're gonna do now is take the router. We're gonna take this base plate off. We're gonna use these screws in the base plate uh, and we're gonna drill a couple more holes into this um, sled and attach this where the base plate is. So uh, another tip, uh, I'm gonna throw this in a little bit earlier, um, is when this is, again, not cut out yet and we did a template to, to cut everything, um, at that point it would be good to actually take off the base of your router, um, or even just align the screws up to this plate when it's attached to everything, and then drill the holes then, and you won't have to mount this anywhere to drill the holes. Uh, it would have been a little bit easier, a little bit, a couple steps back, so that's another tip for you. 
Um, all right, I'm gonna take this off and we'll see what it looks like underneath. At a quick look at these screws, it's most definite that for the rigid router, we're gonna have to get some bigger screws for the rigid router. Okay, base plate's off. I'm just gonna take a lead pencil and kind of get through the hole to mark it. All right, now I'm just gonna, on the edge of the, of the sled where the paper is, I'm gonna just drill bigger holes a little bit in um, to counter sink the screws. Because the screws are just gonna stick out on the other end. All I'm gonna do now is take the router, place it on the edge without the paper. Uh, make sure I'm aligning the holes that I have measured out before. And I'm just gonna take those screws and screw it in from the other end here. All right guys, the last step, I'm just gonna take that sled we just built here, and we had the chain set up from before, and all we're gonna do is connect these chains through the holes of these brackets. I'm just gonna use the middle one for now. So this is the Maslow. Um, from here, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to actually calibrate it to cut out the initial parts, and we're gonna build the permanent frame. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like below. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. If you enjoy this video and wanna see more like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna do several Maslow products in the future and other really cool products. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, guys.